All right, you're f***ing dirty dogs. Today, we are gonna talk about the basics, the things you need to do in order to lose weight. Now, if you're seeing some shaking from the bottom, that is my cat eating the uh, tripod foot. So, so you wanna go from fat to fit. It's like boys to men. Hold me now. It's hard for me to say I'm sorry. I think that's them. Anyway, fat to fit, what do we need to do? There's some basic sh we need to tick off and we're gonna tick off. Calorie deficit. Time, sustainability. We've got a few things. If we want to go from fat to fit, we need to be in a caloric deficit. We need to allow for a certain amount of time. We need to make sure it's sustainable. So meaning we can do this in our worst weeks. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong. What does sustainability mean? It means in our shittest weeks, it means in our shittest weeks we can do it. No matter how much you want to lose, you need to make sure that you are in a caloric deficit. You're only going to be in a calorie deficit if you drop weight week to week. So you're going to do that if you measure yourself every single week at the same time. You wanna do that preferably in the morning, okay? Because if you're not doing that in the morning, what can happen is if you eat a bunch of food, drink a lot of water, it can really skew your results. So you might be a couple of kilos heavier, but they might not be actual kilos. It might just be food related, water related, or anything in that vein. So what can we do, little bubby? We need to make sure that our calorie deficit is true so we see some weight drops on the scale. That's about it. Next one is, time. Sometimes people get very impatient. They want to see 10 kilos in 12 weeks. Now, can we do that, Bubby? Can we do 10 kilos in 12 weeks? Yes, we can, but typically it's only for men. If you're a male and you've got a fair whack of weight to lose, 10 kilos in 12 weeks is doable. I've seen it done time and time again. It's very, very possible, but it does take a lot of time and pressure. And because it takes a lot of time, you need to make sure you adjust your expectations. But if you've got shitty expectations, if you think you can lose 10 kilos in a day, well, you're gonna because it's not gonna happen. If you feel like you can lose 10 kilos in six months, that's much more sustainable. Now, some people will say that's a slow rate of fat loss. I'd rather a slow and guaranteed rate of fat loss than me lose 10 kilos in 10 weeks and then put it all back on. So this is why we structure things like this. The sustainability factor. This is going to be number one key thing for you mother out there trying to get from fat to fit. We've done calorie deficit, we've done time, Sustainability is number one. Now, a lot of people, when they jump into my programs, think it's all or nothing. No, 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 no. It's like 70% effort, 60% effort over time. That is gonna be the only way you can do this. You're not gonna wake up one day and have this Herculean bout of, of, of energy and pizzazz and, and fire, okay? You're just not gonna have it. You might have it for one day, but it's gonna be short-lived. That's where the motivation stuff kicks in, because you're like, where did you go, let's do it. It's very emotional. So what you need to temper that with is discipline. Have you shown yourself time and time again that you can adhere to something like this? And it could be very, very low, two sessions a week of training. Could be very, very high, four sessions a week of training. I don't advise that though, okay? So when you're making a sustainability plan, really make sure that you can do it even on your shittest weeks. On the weeks that you don't feel like getting out of bed, you can do the bare minimum and still achieve results. That is the key from getting fat to fit. Hope you guys like this video. Now Team, if you like that video, be sure to click here for your next video or here for something that you may like, all that sort of stuff. And make sure you subscribe and then click the notification bell to make sure you get all our videos. We make at least one video daily on a different topic. See you on the next one.